Welcome to All Saints Catholic School eLearning. Working it out in business. The big idea we'll be exploring today is average rate of return. For this session, you will need to have watched the big idea video on this topic first. Before beginning this session, try and find a quiet place where you can focus and aim to have a pen, paper and a calculator to hand so that you can note down your ideas. By the end of this video, you will have recalled what ARR means, calculated average rate of return, and analysed why businesses use average rate of return to make investment decisions. Before we begin, let's recall our big idea on average rate of return. What is average rate of return? What is the formula to calculate average rate of return? And who would calculate average rate of return and why? If you like, you can pause this video to give yourselves time to think. Average rate of return is a way to measure how much a company stands to make from an in initial investment over a period of time. It's calculated by taking the average annual profit divided by the cost of initial investment and times in it by 100. The higher the percentage, the better the return on your investment. Average rate of return is calculated before making investment decisions and is usually completed by either business owners or shareholders. How does our big idea link to your learning? Business owners and shareholders don't just invest their money into a business without looking at the risk factors first. Business will calculate the average rate of return to see if their investing their money will be worthwhile and if they will receive a substantial return. If the return is beneficial, investment is likely to proceed. However, if it is not, then it's a prevention of loss of capital. Now let's work it out. In order to calculate average rate of return, you need to take the average annual profit and divide it by the cost of investment, which simply means how much you are looking to invest into this business, and times it by 100. However, please note that beforehand, in order to calculate the average annual profit, you have to take the total profit which is simply adding up all the profit which is given to you and divide it by the number of years. Before you begin, let's try this together using a similar task. A business is investing £10 million into a project. The table below shows the profit that a business estimates to make each year over a five year period. Now, as we previously learned, in order to work out average rate of return, we need to take the average annual profit, divide it by the cost of investment and times it by 100. But first, we need to calculate the total profit. This is the sum of money of the profit made each year. So as you can see, we have totaled up the profit made per year from year one 
year two, year three, year four, and year five. Once we've added these together, it totals to 27 million. You then have to divide this by the total number of years. So in our instance, these are five years. So 27 million divided by five equals 5,400,000. As you can see from there, we have now calculated our average annual profit. Next, we need to calculate the average rate of return. And once again, as we know, the formula is average annual profit, which we have calculated, divided by the cost of investment, which is the amount you are looking to invest in, and you times it by 100. So when we take the average annual profit, which is 5,400,000, and we divide it by the cost of our investment, which we are looking to invest 10 million into this project, and we times it by 100, our answer is 54%. So what this means is we will gain a return of 54% of our investment. This figure then allows business owners and shareholders to decide if they should proceed with their investment or not. Initially, any investment over 50% is definitely one in which you should consider doing, as it is worth your while. Now it's over to you. You've inherited some capital and are thinking of investing into a coffee shop. You've been approached by three different shops. A local coffee shop, Business A, a vegan coffee shop, Business B, and a multinational franchise, Costa Coffee, Business C. To help in supporting your decision as to which shop you will invest in, you will need to calculate the average rate of return for each business to help support your final decision. Please note that the initial investment for every business is different. There's also a stretch and challenge task. Along with the average rate of return, business owners and shareholders need to think about the daily operations of a business. Do they have some type of unique selling point which could help them in becoming a success? Are there other factors which could help that business and help you gain a better return on your investment? These are items which they need to think about. Now, you can pause this video to allow yourself a chance to calculate the average rate of return. Now let's consolidate your learning. Which coffee shop provided you with the best average rate of return for your investment? Now firstly, with coffee shop A, the local coffee shop, you had to total up the total profit and divided that by five, which was the number of years. This gave you 14,000. You then had to calculate the average rate of return, which was 14,000 divided by your initial investment, which was 50,000 times it by 100. This gave you an ARR of 28%. For business B, the vegan coffee shop, to calculate the average annual profit, you added up all five years, divided it by five, and gave you a total of 12,000. Then to calculate the average rate of return, you took 12,000, which was the average annual profit, divided by your initial investment, which was 40,000 pounds, and times it by 100, which gave you 30%. And lastly, the franchise, Costa Coffee, Business C, to calculate the average annual profit, you totaled all five years, which gave you 
130,000, divided it by 5, which gave you a total of 26,000. Then to calculate the ARR, you took 26,000 and divided by the cost of investment, which was £90,000, and times it by 100. This gave you a total percentage of 29%. Now, based upon these three percentages of ARR, which business would you invest in and why? Now, there is no right or wrong answer. It's about your justification behind it. Why have you chosen that particular business? Your ARR may be the main reason. However, are there other factors? Does your business provide a unique selling point? to help it become a success? Is it in a prime location where you will gain a lot of passing trade? What are your reasons for rejecting your other two options? Great work. You have successfully recalled what ARR means calculated average rate of return and analyse why business use average rate of return to make investment decisions. Well done.